We got Lex, we got Coco, and now we finally have Taylor. Welcome to Popcorn Talk, featuring movie discussion, news, and interviews. Popcorn Talk, we talk movies. All right, you guys, welcome on in to The Point with Kristen Burke, presented by Dance Network and Popcorn Talk. You guys, I am listening to you. You said I wanted that top four, and like I said, we had we got Lex right off the bat. We finally got Coco in here. We got Taylor now. That leaves Kiki, so you guys know what to do. You need to email him, DM him, whatever it is, tweet him. He's going to love that. <laughs> we'll try and get him here at some point, but without further ado, let's introduce one of our finalist from So You Think You Can Dance season 14, Taylor C. Welcome. Thank you. I'm so glad you're here. Me too. We tried so hard to get all four of you after the finale. There just wasn't enough time to yeah. do it all, so we could only get Lex. And all summer long, I would say, like I guess, early fall into Christmas and <laughs> early 2018, everyone's <laughs> like, when are they coming? And I'm like, you guys, the second they're off tour, the second they're back yeah. from tour, you know, I'm like, I'm on it. I'm like, come in. <laughs> and so we got you here. So welcome. Thank you. All right. Well, I, I really want to start because on your training, because I always like talking about studios that are producing great dancers. And Larkin Dance Studio is one of those studios because <laughs> you guys had a really big year besides yourself. Eva Igo on yeah. World of Dance had a fantastic year. Now, were you, have, were you with them like since you were like two, three, four? Um, I actually went there when I was in seventh grade. Mm -hmm. um, I trained at a studio that was closer to my house like my entire life and then um, I just wanted something a little bit more and you know Larkin is really like the best in Minnesota so I, I've always wanted to go train there but it was so far away from my house. How far away was it? How it long was were like you commuting? It was like a 30, 35 minute drive. That's and, a lot. You know in Minnesota there's always snow and weather and so it's Longer, I lived but. in Minnesota for a little bit. I lived in, oh, really? uh, I did, I did. I lived in Eden Prairie. I was working for NBC and for MSNBC out there. I worked for your former governor, by the way. Oh, really? Yes, <laughs> Jesse Ventura. I was his newsreader on his show oh in gosh. another lifetime, which is kind of crazy to think about. That's a whole different story. <laughs> but I know about um, Minnesota winters, and they, yes. they are challenging. So for your mom and your dad, like driving back and forth, mm -hmm. is it's a lot. Yeah, I was very fortunate that... You know, my dad literally just drove me there one day, and I didn't know we were going to Larkin, and he took me to Larkin, and I literally started bawling because I was so nervous. I was like, these kids are so good. Their teachers are, <laughs> you know, they're crazy, but they're amazing. And But I walked in, and they just welcomed me with open arms, like, halfway through a season. And oh, that's a big deal, too. Yeah, so, I, I mean, some people were kind of bitter about me coming in, but... Um, I was, you know, I was ready to quit dance at that point because I was so unhappy and just like growing up was in my childhood, but uh, they welcomed me and it was probably one of the best decisions, you know, that my fa my family made and it was, I'm really grateful for it. Were you unhappy because did you feel like, because this happens at studios and this is not a slam on any studio, but sometimes you just plateau and you're like, I mm -hmm. need to go somewhere else in order to grow or you quit and you're like, I'll go into mm -hmm. cheerleading or gymnastics or soccer or whatever mm -hmm. it is. Were you kind of at that point at your old studio? Yeah, I was. I was I was pretty unhappy just with the way that, you know, kids were treating me mm -hmm. and because I always was, you know, naturally gifted and but I mean I was always working hard and dances my entire life and so, you know, when I was it was making me unhappy, my parents started to like rethink it and, you know, my dad out of everyone in my family decides to take me to Larkin, which is pretty cool of him. So That's amazing. And did he literally like drop you off and you're like, you've got ballet class or you have you He know, literally can... just brought me in to their rehearsals. Like he called oh my Molly Larkin, which is one of the sisters that runs it, mm -hmm. uh, and just said, you know, can we come can we bring Taylor in to just come, you know, see rehearsals and classes and they were like yeah and it was so it was so cool were they aware of you because I know a lot of you guys compete and you kind of see what other studios are out there and dancers are out there yeah they they did know about me a little bit so it was, it was they cool. knew you had that amazing tilt <laughs> <laughs> they're like we'll take that <laughs> um what is it about Larkin that makes it such a special studio um, it's really their mentality of, you know, how to raise a professional dancer, not only someone that can be technically trained in all areas and, 
be able to perform and essentially sell yourself mm -hmm. to whoever you want if you want to take it professionally or so many of the kids do college dance team like so many people go to the U of M and like mm -hmm. Ohio State which just won this year uh, the college nationals and um, but it's really more about discipline with them you know how to be like a great human being and respectful and they don't really tolerate anything at that's that good though <laughs> so I mean really hard work and dedication too because I mean I was training at the studio seven days a week usually and I was taking ballet like five or six days out of the week every you know so it's um, it was pretty cool just to be able to continue the Larkin legacy because they've been around for so long and yeah that was started by their mom wasn't it mm -hmm, yeah surely so Surely. So that's a, that's a wonderful thing that they're yeah. able to continue on, not only the studio itself, but the reputation. Mm -hmm. I think that's important. Mm -hmm. Now, also, one thing you just brought up is that um, you're talking about like college dance teams. And I think like I know a lot of dancers watch the show and it's I think we get into this weird bubble of like, so you think you can dance, Dancing with the Stars, like World of Dance. Those are the opportunities. But there are other opportunities mm -hmm. In college, if you go the college route, um, and you don't even have to be a dance major per se, there's yeah. other performance opportunities that people should always think about. Oh, and sure. look at those studios that are developing those dancers mm -hmm. that make big college dance teams, because those com competitions are no joke. Yeah, it's, it's pretty serious. They're on ESPN, too. I mean, yeah. you see them. They're, they're like major sports events. They're not just like, oh, you know, mm -hmm. it's like some random little dance thing. It's, <laughs> it's a big it's a big time thing, which I kind of love. What yeah. was this year like? Um, were you, because Eva, when, I saw Eva in November when the tour was here for mm -hmm. World of Dance, and she was like, I have not <laughs> seen Taylor in a really long time. She's yeah. like, we've been kind of like two <laughs> ships kind of passing in the night, because World of Dance tapes January, February, March, around that time. Mm -hmm. So by the time, you guys were probably passing each yeah. other most of the year. Yeah, I mean, literally, last, I moved to L.A. last October, so not, sorry, two Octobers ago, because it it's 2018 quickly. now. Yeah. But I moved to LA just, I mean, just randomly, really. I it was, it was so weird. I was like, you know, I can't find anyone to live with. I didn't know. I always thought I would go to New York, mm -hmm. but I ended up coming to LA. What was that, that, like, what made you come to LA? Do you know? Um, you know, really, I, I got hired by Jump Dance Convention through mm -hmm. Break the Floor to be an assistant, so I would be traveling every weekend. And, you know, I could, you can live anywhere to do that because um, they fly you out, but I ended up going to a Shaping Sound audition uh, for their, uh, when they had, like, that second company yep. come or do one of their shows. And, and then I got a call back, and at that call back, there's, I mean, there's only a handful of people, but... I met Sydney, Sydney Torme. Oh my gosh. Through a mutual friend there. Yep. And she was like, yeah, I'm looking for a roommate too. And so we were both like, so we both just decided to look for an apartment while we were there. And we moved out that next October, a month later. And I mean, I was pretty much gone almost every weekend working jump, but <laughs> I mean, doing jobs here and there and making connections and then I auditioned for So You Think. And yeah, so that you auditioned in L.A., I'm going to assume. I did. Yes, just trying to remember every yeah. who auditioned where. I mean, there's only two cities now, which is easier for me to remember. But mm -hmm. um, how did you prepare? Um, were you just, because I love Lexi's like, I just kind of showed up and then improv. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'm more of a preparer. Like, I'd mm -hmm. be like in rehearsal studio every day getting ready for mm -hmm. this. So how are you? I mean, working every weekend on jump. I mean, I'm assisting like six hours of classes at least every day. And so that was, you know, a lot of training, just like picking mm -hmm. up different choreography every day. I mean, I was having to do ballet, hip hop, jazz, contemporary, you know, like all these different styles, jazz funk. And so that was like a lot of my training, but I was trying to do a lot more hip hop out in LA because that <laughs> is not my specialty. That is but not my specialty I mean, <laughs> I've gotten a lot better at it, which is You did great on the great, show, don't worry. But, um, so I was trying to do a lot of that, a lot of ballet out here. Um, and then I just had one of my uh, older friends, which is a choreographer, she helped me put together a solo for the audition. And then I just went and auditioned and... You got your ticket. I got it. You got your ticket to Academy. <laughs> um, you know, it's so funny in that moment of auditioning because I think a lot of people. Did you grow up watching the show? Were you a I fan? Did. Mm -hmm. did you have a particular season that you loved? Um, 
Not in particular. I have like certain people. I mean, I love when like Ricky Ubedo was on the show yes. and I love Gabby. Um, I I remember watching the show, but I don't remember. I mean, I was always at dance, so I could yeah, I know. Watch it. Well, it's so funny because some kids like I just an uh, interviewed Amelia McCarthy, who uh, is on a Disney Channel movie mm -hmm. right now called Zombies, movie musical, and she's like, I used to watch Lofro Lauren Froderman's audition, memorize it, like stop it every eight seconds, like learn it, perform it, <laughs> do it. And it's just funny to hear like everyone had just had their one dancer that they kind of followed, mm -hmm. even if they didn't watch the show religiously. Mm -hmm. And like Melanie Moore, she's I mean. And she's amazing. an impeccable dancer. She's just yeah. amazing. Yeah. But she's... I think that's when I, like, really in-depth started watching the show. I mean, of course, like, I knew, like, Nick and Travis. And mm -hmm. so. But... How about getting on that stage? Because I got to tell you, like, I got to walk on the audition stage at the Orpheum last year because we mm -hmm. did some uh, interviews and stuff. And I literally, okay, clearly I'm not dancing. Clearly I'm not auditioning. And I was, like, so giddy because I'm, like, it's got the big <laughs> green wall and, like, the So You Think You Can Dance logo. And I'm, like, oh, my God, take my photo. Wait, take one more. <laughs> One more. I mean, yeah. it, but to audition, it's a whole other level of excitement, but also some nerves too. Yeah. I imagine. I I mean, I remember like standing in the line outside, not knowing what's going on, and then all of a sudden, I'm just in the theater because we made it for the past the first round, and then, um, which is like the producer round, and yeah. then and. and Let's just talk quickly about the producer round. Is it a, a, it's a group of you just kind of like doing your solo or improv, correct? Um, yeah, it's you go in like 10 at a time. They separate boys and girls, but they put you into like your, your category of what you enter as. And I was the very first group of, of girls, so that was – I didn't really get to warm up, which, you know. It's the it challenge happens, of the audition, yeah. yep. And uh, they just put on a random song and you improv, and then you stand in a line afterwards and – uh, they hand you a ticket whether or not you go through. <laughs> that that was nerve wracking. That's nerve wracking because you know I, I think too because it's like you at least want to get in front of the judges. Yeah. Yeah. Even though the producers are judging as well, but you're mm -hmm. like I need to get on that stage. Mm -hmm. All right. So now you're on that stage, and yep. what is that moment like for you? It was I want to say 7:30 in the morning. Oh I was the second person to go for the LA auditions. You went early. So I didn't get to warm up at all. Like not even. I maybe got to like stretch, but I had to stretch in like, I kid you not, like a ten foot square. It was, <laughs> and her legs was, are like twelve feet long. It so. was it was crazy, <laughs> and um, my feet are always like, they're always sweaty, which is like great for turning barefoot because I I auditioned barefoot, but um, their floor wasn't like a normal Marley floor. It yeah. was very like shiny and and slippery and. I just remember going up there and just saying, okay, well, this is, you know, this is me. Like, I'm just going to do me mm -hmm. and I'm going to give it all I have and, you know, see what happens. And it went great. I mean, I was, of course, very nervous. I don't remember what they said to me. They said before, you had great control. <laughs> do you know that? Uh, that was one of the comments. Like, well, you have such great control. So obviously the sticky, uh, the slippery floor. <laughs> yeah, I was, didn't I was like, I was so nervous after I talked, or I mean, not after I talked, what am I talking about? Uh, after I danced <laughs> and, um, cause I was slipping, I was slipping all over the place. <sighs> I mean, it still went really well for me, but I know I could have done better if I just, but it was enough to get you to the Academy. Yeah, it was, it was exciting. Um, Academy week, oh, you, you guys kicked it off and I love talking about this and I saw it live. I got to watch you guys tape the, oh, really? the opening number. Yes. With Mandy Moore and all the all-stars and everything. Um, to me, whether you wound up in the top 10 or not, it's going to be one of the biggest memories, I think, for mm -hmm. everybody being able to participate in that. And I, I I, need to ask Mandy more of this, and I've said this a thousand times, but most of the top ten was featured in this in really wonderful ways. <laughs> Did you notice that? You guys all had, like, yeah, featured spots. Yeah, a little spots. bit. I remember seeing, like, one of the photos for the end, and I was like, oh. Yeah, really you're like, right there. <laughs> there, oh, there's Coco, there's Taylor, yeah. there's Logan. Like, I can just, I can point people out, right? and they're all in the foreground. It's mm -hmm. kind of amazing. Mm -hmm. What was that like sh uh, shooting that day for you? It was really cool. I mean, I've worked with Mandy Moore, uh, Mandy Moore before, so I mean, she's just she's always so organized and she just knows how to get stuff done so efficiently, which is huge when you're a dancer and you know you're having all this rehearsal time. But she's amazing, and it was such a great experience and getting to learn, you know, a little bit more about cameras because I haven't really worked with you know it's that a great many cameras. Um, 
And getting to know all the other dancers was really cool, getting to like bond in rehearsal times, even though everyone's really tired. But. Yeah, tired. And I think what people don't realize, it was pretty chilly that day in LA. It started raining. Yeah. And it was very, very windy. Yeah. I have photos, and everyone's just like windblown. And mm -hmm. <laughs> it was not a warm day. It wasn't a nice, sunny LA day at all. No, it was very cold. I remember I was in like dance shorts and a bra top. And yeah. <laughs> Was, and you're like, yeah, why? <laughs> what happened to LA? And it was it was May, I think. It Yeah. Wow, that was a long time ago. April, May. It was somewhere around. But it should have been a warmer month for us, and it, it wasn't. <laughs> that day was terrible. Um, the pressure of Academy Week, I, everyone always says it was the toughest week ever, no matter whether you mm -hmm. made it you know, to top 10 or not. Um, do you have a moment where you're like, this is so tough, and I've just got to breathe and make it through? You know, the... <laughs> Yes, the ballroom round for me. Mm. That was I was, you know, I'm not I'm not trained in ballroom at all and so that was very nerve-wracking going into that round, but um, you know, I tried to research as much as I could before that and Were you watching YouTube videos? I was. It's <laughs> good though. I this was. Is, you know, Ni that would make Nigel really happy. He gets frustrated when dancers don't do their research. So, yeah. he would be really happy to yeah, hear that. Yeah, I was really trying to, you know, see how it works and I mean, because I'm great at picking up choreography and other styles, but ballroom I wasn't so sure about. So, <laughs> and Dimitri choreographed for that round, yes. I believe. Dimitri and I remember, you know, everyone's already had partners lined up and I couldn't find a partner. Oh, no. And so I ended up having to partner with someone that was like inches shorter than me, which was a struggle a little bit. Yeah. I mean, he was very strong, but uh, add, you know, three inch heels on me too, and it's a different story. You're really, really tall all of a sudden, um, yeah. And there was a few lifts in that in that dance, and uh, I ended up picking up the choreography really well. But then all of a sudden, when it got to performing it, I was the very first couple to go, and so my, my I felt so bad. But my partner, he I love him, uh, I actually know him, but he ended up tripping over himself, oh. and so we like missed like a few eight counts of the choreography because oh, no. we just got lost and. So I was like, oh God, this isn't good. Like, I'm gonna go home after this. Yeah. <laughs> so that was nerve wracking, but uh, went every, like the parts that we did get. Looked good. Yeah. So did you both make it through that round? Or um, did yes. You? Okay, good. I was like, yeah. I wouldn't feel bad if you had made it me through too. and he hadn't. Yeah. Um, it seemed like Robert was always your choice or mm -hmm. one of, at least one of your top choices. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I, it was interesting to me because Robert picks, uh, Emotionally, and I think that that's what you know. People need to go back and look at season thirteen, and everyone doubted him when JT and JT is like the biggest little superstar, and he got both of you to the finals. And I think mm -hmm. that that's he knows exactly what it's he's doing. So I'm like, never ever doubt Robert Roldan, anyone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's amazing. I mean, I I didn't really know much about Robert before um, the show. I I mean, I didn't really follow him on social media. I mm -hmm. knew that he was a contestant on the show, but. Um, I didn't really know much about him and but like before the show, you know, I was like researching everybody and I was like, you know, that's oh my god, like, like how that's did my I guy. not know about him before <laughs> and uh so I I was really happy that he ended up picking me because that's I mean, that's who I wanted to partner with. You that's know, fantastic. Just aesthetically and uh how like he's just a great person. I think that's what makes him so He's special. got a really big heart, and I think, um, I mean, I think everyone sees that through his dancing, too. But, you know, we, especially press, when I get to do press, like, I get to see different shades of people behind the scenes because everyone's relaxed, the competition's over, and things like that. Mm -hmm. And you get a feeling for who people are, and he's always just, like, so passionate about, like, what oh, just yeah. happened. And he's really engaged and really present in what's happening in the competition and, and what's happening with you. Like, he mm -hmm. really really genuinely wants his contestants to do well, mm -hmm. even beyond what happens on the So You Think stage, like, you know, yeah. outside in the real world, too. Mm -hmm. So that's the one thing I really like about Robert. Um, your team was interesting because you have Jensen Arnold, and that's there's a lot of pressure there because her sister's Lindsay Arnold. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of fans rooting for that. She, she comes in with, like, kind of a legacy of, like, my sister was already on the yeah. show. Which she goes out first, which I think yeah, that, that shocked a lot of people. It's hard. And then someone gets injured on your team, and then she had to exit. And then, so you're down to the last two. That's 
a lot of pressure where just a lot of things have happened on your team already. Mm -hmm. How are you guys feeling being the last two there? Um, Jonathan and I were actually uh, really good friends because we had won the Dance Awards title of Senior Best Dancer the mm -hmm. year before. Oh, so you guys were reigning titleists uh, in the same year. Yes, so Ugh. yeah, it was Lex, Jonathan and I, we had all won that uh, title that year or the summer before. And so we had been traveling together, working at like conventions together, assisting, and we're great friends. I love them to death. And but we're just like we're looking at each other like it could be any of us. It could be either of us because we're so different. Like you know, you don't know what he's gonna right. go with. And so, um, and you know, the academy was totally different this year. It wasn't like some you had to pick a boy or a girl. It wasn't that way. Um, it just ended up being that way, I guess, with the all stars choosing, but. Um, we had no expectations going into it, and we were just going to be so happy for whoever, you know, made it yeah. to the show. And he's, I mean, we still talk. He's amazing. <laughs> I know, that's hard, too, because it's like, you're like, I want it, but at the same time, if I don't get it, at least it's someone I know and yeah. respect and really love. But yeah. at the same time, you're like, I still want it. Yeah. That's, that's, called, that's just being human. You want yeah. that, that position. Everyone's fighting for it. Mm -hmm. uh, what was that moment like when you're, you're chosen? Like, you're on my, you are officially top 10. Um, it was crazy. I, I didn't know what to expect. I mean, walking in to filming that part from the Green Mile was very nerve-wracking because it was literally just us and Jeff Thacker Ugh. and he's walking us and he's not saying anything he's just holding our hands walking us out to the <sighs> stage and then he gives both of us a hug and then he leaves and then we just start filming and I mean it was just hard to see Robert's face like that too because you he's know stressed. he he loved both of us so much and you know Jonathan is so talented and he's I mean he's a ninja he's crazy <laughs> um but it was it was definitely it was very nerve-wracking but the the relief that came to me at that moment was it was pretty cool I was like is this really happening I thought I was dreaming <laughs> yeah and I mean the pressure of the entire week you finally get to go I can relax now I'm on the show and it doesn't matter really what happens I think because for me Top 10, you win because you get to do the tour. Yeah. You guys got the opportunity, the exposure, and everything mm -hmm. else. Of course, you want to stay as long as you possibly mm -hmm. can. Like, you, you got to do all of the shows, mm -hmm. which is incredible. But I always said, you know, because I had everyone through here in the studio, and I was like, you're totally winning. You're going on tour. Yeah, absolutely. This is awesome. It's amazing. And you're top 10 in the country, which I think <laughs> is great. Um, so here's what I think was so amazing about the top 10 this year we had you and Lex mm -hmm. so that's also got to be very exciting that the two of you had the opportunity to experience this together because already you've experienced doing the dance awards and having that mm -hmm. whole year a and then you get this as well which is so special yeah it was it was very cool I mean we kept everything under wraps like we didn't really want like that to be a thing on mm -hmm. the show but then um, going into it, you know, having the support of Lex throughout the entire show was, it was very cool. And throughout, like, Academy Week and um, just having that support and, you know, someone to talk to other than, like, your parents or, um, you know, your all-star. Like, I had Robert, I had Lex, I had Gabby, I mean, mm -hmm. Koine, like, they're all, everyone was just so great and, um I mean, getting to dance with Lex, too, was amazing because we'd never danced with each other before. So And you got to do that twice. twice. Yeah, yeah, that was very that, cool. The birdcage one right there, Spencer Lift. <laughs> I, um, it was so funny. Backstage one day uh, after the show, one of the publicists was like, come, this birdcage is here. And we started taking photos <laughs> on it because it was so cool. That's but, so funny. Um, Spencer loved working on this piece, yeah. first of all. He loved working with you guys. And he was literally like... I, he didn't know you guys were dating. He was like, is this, this is just a little, like, they look like they like each other. You know, he didn't catch on right away. And I thought during this piece that everyone had figured it out or that it was open. You guys weren't so closed off on social media either, you know? No. No. And it was amazing to me that, like, so far, like, all the way to the finale, like, Nigel was like, I had no idea. I'm like, how did you have no idea? We talked about this during this piece. And that, I don't know. I don't know. It was it was baffling to me in some ways. And I'm like, maybe I'm too insider just being behind the scenes. I don't know. Yeah. But, um, but I love that you guys had each other. And, of course, we had Logan and Sydney, mm -hmm. and, who met during Academy Week, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, of course, you wind up with um, Koine and Kiki. And I was yeah. like, you guys were like the romance a season. Lot of, a lot of couples. Yeah. I thought that was great. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, going into it, though, 
I was like, I was so hesitant. I was like, you know, they're not going to take both of us if we're dating. Because I thought in like the contracts, it said that like you couldn't be dating someone. I think they don't want you dating your all-star. Let's That's be honest. That's it. But, you know, yeah. me reading it for the first time, I was like, no, no, no. Right. Like we can't say anything. And so I was very hesitant on social media. And then at one point during like the live shows, I was just like, I don't know what I'm holding back for. I mean, even though I like to keep, you know, most of my life private, sure. you know, but there's also so much to share and he's such an amazing guy and I mean, he is. So he's he's very special to you me. You guys so. are a great team, honestly. Lots lots Thank of support you. back and forth, which is really yeah. nice to see and I think that that's really important. This is a tough business. This yeah. is a tough town mm -hmm. and having that support is amazing and having it together on So You Think You Can Dance and just sharing something really special, making it to the end, like, I don't know, yeah. like, especially the top four, like, two couples, so <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah. Even though, like, a lot of people didn't know about Koine and Kiki at that point, but I just I just think that's it's just amazing. Um, do you have a favorite dance that, that you and Robert did, or, or even outside of that, because you guys mm. mixed it up at the end as well? Um, oh, gosh. I mean, I really enjoyed my first week with Robert, uh, our Travis Wall piece, mm -hmm. that was, it was very special to me because, I mean, just getting to work with Travis is amazing. amazing. <laughs> My mind is always blown. Uh, but I think that was when Robert and I really realized, you know, like how powerful we were together, yes. not just separate. And uh, it was very cool. And then also uh, our Bodak Yellow Hip Hop. Yes. That was so much fun to there do. There it is. <laughs> I pulled it out because I was like, uh, if you could, yeah, that big pony, if you can enlarge that oh one. Because I, I purposely pulled that one because I was like, come on, that pony had its own personality. That was, that was a challenge. I had fake nails on that were put on with double stick tape. Mm -hmm. So, and this long ponytail that I didn't get to practice with. <gasps> How much so That weighed a lot, didn't it? It was so long. Yeah. I mean, it was in my face, and every time I would try and like get the hair out of my face, it would get stuck to my fingernails. <laughs> and, and you're like, it's interesting. And Robert had a grill on, and, and <laughs> I mean, it was just so fun because we're not that at all. So it was really, it was really. I fun. forgot about Robert's grill. I was like, Robert and a grill, like you just come on. <laughs> they tried to make me wear one too. Did you? And you were like, no. I mean, the I pony, the pony, and nails. the nails. Yeah. Was this Luther? Yes. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. It's all black. It's Luther. It's yeah. all black clothing. You know it's a Luther Brown piece. Yeah. Uh, I love him. He's challenging with his choreography. Like, yeah. it looks sometimes deceivingly simple, and then you mm -hmm. get to it, and you're like, oh. Yeah. But he's I'm, great. Yeah. I He's he's the best. I'd never worked with him before, so it was really fun to just, you know. I mean, he puts you through it that week. He, yep. he turns you into whatever character you're supposed to be playing, so he's... I love that. Really cool. His energy is really, really yeah. great. I think that's the yeah. one thing I love about Luther. Um, let's talk about tour. I saw the tour at Dolby Theater, and I met her parents. <laughs> Where I, just, I was like, oh, I met your mom and dad, and we're Twitter friends. But um, um, I was so happy, because I've gone to see other tours, and I've seen them like, in the middle. I've seen them at the beginning. I've seen them at the end. This tour was closer to the end, and it was really clean. I know you guys still had rehearsal that day, mm -hmm. but it doesn't matter. You guys looked fit and shape like you got <laughs> I, I, sometimes we see people that the, at the end of the tour and they're like we've just been eating pizza every night and we're yeah. having fun you guys were still on your a game and i was really impressed with that and what mandy did with the transitions in and out mm -hmm. to the dances that was a top-notch tour you guys should be really proud of what you did out yeah. there i mean the way that mandy put it together when we literally had three days to put it together was mind-blowing i mean she's just so smart with how she did everything and uh, how she put everyone learning each other's duets together and the groups and uh, yeah, she's a genius. I she is a genius. Did you have a Minnesota date so you got to do a hometown? No. You didn't? I have not performed at home at all since the show. <sighs> that makes me sad. I know. Because I just, I love when people have the opportunity to do hometown. Yeah. I watched Eva Igo go to, I think they did the Mall of America, mm -hmm. I think, for World mm -hmm. of Dance and I was like, that's what you want. You want to come yeah. home and just be like, yay. Yeah. Minnesota is so great about supporting their sports mm -hmm. personalities and TV personalities, too. So I think that would have been really yeah, fun. Yeah, the tour was amazing, though. I mean, especially L.A. I mean, 
I the mean, Oscar we were staged. Come on. Yeah, it was, it was so cool. I'd never been in that theater before, so it was really cool, too. It's a beautiful theater, and, um, you know, it's built for TV, too, so it's a it's a really wide open space. Mm -hmm. um, and you guys did not know that the All-Stars were coming up on stage, did you? Or did you no. have a clue? No clue. And I was so upset at Robert because he told me that he wasn't going to be able to make it, like, last <laughs> minute. And so I was, I was so sad because I hadn't seen him since uh tour rehearsals and so uh i was i was so sad i wasn't good to see him because everyone else's all-stars were there besides gabby because she's in chicago right but, and then all of a sudden i'm we're just like doing the finale dance and he's just there dancing next to me and i literally just <laughs> i stopped doing the choreography and i was just like, like i was what? just screaming because <laughs> and just like hugging him because i was so happy but that was really cool it was really fun because i was sitting next to allison holker and um she was rehearsing during intermission because she's like i i didn't realize I, she's like i thought we were going on stage and just being like hey she's like no yeah. no no we're doing the whole macy started dance <laughs> and so she's like rehearsing i'm like you got this you're going to be totally fine you're allison holker you're fine um but it was fun just to see everyone start like went off in a little corner and they did a quick little like run mm -hmm. through and then to like run and go on stage was really yeah. fun to see because they were so excited too like I could tell that they were like yeah. I'm so excited to see my contestant and everything yeah they they kept that secret from us very well and we also did not know that Jeff was going to be there either and uh, all of a sudden because before uh the live shows we would always do a warm-up with him mm -hmm. and they're always like the best he's just Papa it's, Jeff it's it was so fun it was one of my favorite parts of the live shows actually was just like being goofballs with everyone warming up and uh all of a sudden he started playing the song that he always would play for warm up what was it and uh do you remember he's gonna be so mad at me if i, I can't know. remember we'll the have name. To tweet him or something you're like oh god what is it hey. <laughs> you know what but, but he's such a great uh like i just say father figure it's why i call him papa jeff because he welcomes you guys like you're in the family now mm -hmm. you're welcome back mm -hmm. you know you can come watch a show maybe you'll be an all-star we don't know i've already mm -hmm. asked i've already asked taylor nobody knows <laughs> i was like all-stars um but I, I just think that um i just think that it's such a special thing to be a part of and mm -hmm. I, I will tell you that it's for me even from a press side like knowing that there's a season 15 like makes my entire year mm -hmm. it's i was telling you i'm like it's just the best show to work on and i think it's it starts at the top and it goes all the way down to little me on the press line and i think that's really important i think you guys all feel yeah. that yeah it's it's definitely a family and um i mean it's your choice how you're gonna make the show for yourself and i mean my experience on the show was more than i ever could have imagined it changed me as a person not only as a dancer but um really you know who i am emotionally it made me realize so many different things and it gave me a little more of a confidence boost mm -hmm. which is uh something i always struggled with i think i talked about it on the show before but um it was really cool just to have the support of everyone within that little family yeah. from like the producers to the costumers and the hair and makeup like everyone was just so great it yep. was just run really awesome so it's an it's... a plus show people that's why I, I will say it. people will ask me a thousand times i'm like it's an a plus show it really is um and you know what's interesting too you um from a press perspective it was fun for me to watch you find your voice mm -hmm. um because you were very shy in the very first like couple weeks and, and yeah. letting robert step forward and talk and speak and things mm -hmm. like that and it was interesting like by the end you were like i've got thoughts and ideas let me talk <laughs> but it's great though yeah. because it's really important um, to have your side heard and your perspective heard and also to see what that evolution is over mm -hmm. the six, seven, eight weeks we were there. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yeah, it was, it was a life-changing event for sure for me. I love that. <laughs> um, when did you know you were going on the Shaping Sound Tour? Oh, that was, that was very exciting. Um, Travis had actually, and his manager actually, brought it up to me, I think, the third to last live show. Oh, so you knew in the summer. So he, I mean, he asked me, he was like, do you want to be on Shaping Sound Tour? And I was like, nah. Yes. <laughs> Can you imagine? You're like, no, I'm just. Oh, my God. So, yeah, that was, I mean, it was always one of my dreams to be a part of this company and get to work with him and everyone else. And just because I've looked to up, up to all those dancers mm -hmm. for years. So um, when he asked me, I was like, Oh my god, I mean, I was freaking out because I wanted to make it happen so badly, and then 
um, you know, after the short, uh, after the live shows were over, they emailed me and asked me and sent me a contract. And it was, uh, it was so cool. There's something really cool too about knowing that you're going on tour. So with, so you think you can dance, so you're employed and then you're going into rehearsals then, mm -hmm. and, and then having the ability to go on tour with Travis Wall. And I think, you know, Travis, like Mandy Moore, two people that are really on top of their game that are changing the landscape, uh, not just by being dancers slash choreographers, you know, they move into producing and directing and things mm -hmm. like that. So I think it's important to be able to be mentored by these mm -hmm. people. What was the rehearsal process like? Uh, because I think, you know, you get to see Travis in a small little bubble of So You Think, but now you get mm -hmm. to see him where he's like in charge. This is his company. This is a bigger scope. Yeah. Um, so I came, I went home for a little bit to Minnesota and then I came back to LA and we had two weeks uh, of rehearsal mm -hmm. before we had our first uh, day of tech in, oh gosh, I don't even remember where we were for tech. Yeah, some city. <laughs> such uh, tours are such a blur sometimes. They are. Uh, but I had, so we only had rehearsals during the week because uh, a lot of their dancers work on convention on the weekends. Mm -hmm. And so I only had four days to learn the entire two hour show. Because I was wow. the only new person that they added to this tour. Uh, they added Lex and Gabby back, which was awesome. Because so uh, they couldn't do the, the third tour. Mm -hmm. But um, So Gabby had a new role, and then I took Gabby's old role. Oh, good. So you and had her to sort of guide you. Yeah, I mean, it was interesting, though, because her character actually wasn't in the third leg of the tour, which was the one right before ours. So they took her character out completely, so they had to add it back in. So then everyone was adjusting again. <laughs> yep, and so, and Travis is like, Travis and Nick are constantly evolving the show, which is really cool because that's, you know, how it should be. It shouldn't just be stagnant. Like, they're mm -hmm. always trying to make things better, which is, I mean, really cool to see as a dancer. You know, I'm not a choreographer right now, but it's it's awesome to get to learn from them. and. So I had four days to learn like all the choreography and then Travis also set a new duet on Lex and I. So they added a new number into the show, cool. which was very cool. That's so, an honor. Yeah. That was, That's a really big honor. It was really cool to um, have a double Emmy winner, create a piece <laughs> just for you and Lex. Yep. It was no big deal. It was pretty cool. <laughs> and, you know, it all happened so fast. And I mean, they just instantly welcomed me into their family because that's really what his company is is it's a family I mean you know they they want people that you know are not only great dancers but just great humans that they can get along with and mm -hmm. their whole production in all of their staff is just it's amazing everyone's a big family so it was very rewarding to get to perform for sold out theaters almost every night it was really it was really a blessing. <laughs> I love that. And, you know, we should also talk about Nick Lazzarini because, you know, it's yeah. his company, too. And yep. uh, he is a live wire. He is hilarious. <laughs> he's yep. quick-witted. Um, yeah, what is that? Because it's so funny because Travis is a little bit more, like, he's a little bit more calm. He's a little bit more focused. And Nick has so much creativity, but he also has a ton of energy. Yeah. And the first winner season one is So You Think You yeah. Can Dance. That's, That's kind of cool. cool. Mm -hmm. It's kind of cool having Lex, who was, you know, the current winner with yep. the very first winner. That's kind of yep. neat. Yeah. I mean, there's so many people that had done So You Think, so they know, you know, what what the show is kind of all about. But Nick is hilarious. There's <laughs> never a dull moment. I mean, I I knew that because I, I assist him every weekend on Jump. Uh, so I've worked with him a lot, but I mean, being in a rehearsal, just you would always imagine their rehearsals being very serious, but not with Nick. <laughs> no, they're. I mean, everyone was so funny. I but love Nick, that. Yeah, he's hilarious. He should be a comedian. Yeah, sure. he, he's got a whole second life out there if he doesn't want to, you know, continue in the dance yeah. world. I had him on. Um, we had done. I don't know what season it was. I want to say like season 11, we had done a sh kind of an after show of So You Think You Can Dance and we had him and Jamie Goodwin on together. Aww. And Nick was just like, blah, 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 <laughs> like one liners left and right. And I got off air and I'm like, I don't even want to know what my tweets look like. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, there were some right. snappy ones. Yeah, there were some snappy ones. But he's great, though. He's, yeah, he's the sweetest. Too. He's so, so funny. Um, and so I'm going to ask you about sort of future plans. Like what are some of your goals that you want to accomplish now that you're officially back here in L.A.? 
Um, right now, I don't really have any specific uh, goals right now, but long term, for sure, I would love to get into Broadway. I'd love Ooh. to do a Broadway show. Do um, you sing? I don't really have any formal training, but you can carry um, a tune though. I can carry That's a tune. <laughs> so uh, I'll look be looking into getting voice training for sure. Um, I'd love to also get into acting, which is, I mean, a lot of these things are not uh, dance related that I have to like work on for myself, but that's why I say long term. Because but yeah, but you know, it's it's interesting though because uh, Disney Channel will do a movie musical all the time, and they mm -hmm. hire they want you know dancers who can you know, carry a tune and can act a little bit. Mm -hmm. Like, you don't have to be Meryl Streep right out of the gate yeah. and things like that. Um, so I just think that there's a lot there's a lot of opportunity yeah. here and things like that, which I think is kind of fun. Yeah, and, um, you know, tour life is something that I've grown to love. I love traveling to new places. So uh, more company shows would be amazing. I don't have any, like, specific ones right now. Um, and, of course, like, I'd want to have a little bit more of a stable base uh, mm -hmm. to be able to do perform with a company because it's um it's very rewarding as a person but not always to the to, to the bank account so yes <laughs> uh, that's the unfortunate reality of that but i'd love to do that and uh of course like i mean i love beyonce and i'd love to dance for her but i don't i don't know if that's we can throw it out there, like Beyonce. <laughs> no, but so, I mean, I think I think it's like throw it out to the universe, and you know, maybe yeah. it, even if it's not Beyonce, you might work for another artist and go on a world tour. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of Vegas opportunities. Like I love seeing, you know, Teddy and Haley doing, you know, Backstreet Boys and mm -hmm. things like that. Or Rudy had been doing J Lo, and I mean, there's a lot of opportunity there too, which is really incredible. Yeah. Would you ever do another? dance competition show like say world of dance um would you be possibly. open to that yeah i actually uh before so you think was actually a thing i was the the understudy for the the soloist group so i was going to be doing that show oh. but i the first season but i but with which so group you would think, you have performed with uh under like the soloist oh you were going to be a soloist yeah. i got you yeah yeah, yeah. So. so i mean that was so i was literally preparing for that but then it ended up not happening, and so I was like their understudy, but then I dropped that because So You Think came up. So I was like, oh my God. <laughs> so yeah, cool. it works out the way it's supposed to. And I think it's interesting. We've seen a lot of crossover between all of the shows, including yeah. Dancing with the Stars for uh, the ballroom kids. Mm -hmm. And um, you know what? As long as, like, contract wise, everyone can work it out because yeah. the contracts, you know, sometimes get a little Tricky. murky if you try and do it within a year. But some of them have been playing nice. Like, Fiction was able to do yeah. World of Dance season one and then come in as an mm -hmm. all star. So, it, you know, if they really want you, networks can get along. That's what I would like to say. Um, mm -hmm. I know because everyone's, you know, I know that a lot of there's been crossover with season two of World of Dance. We can't release who those <laughs> contestants are. But, you know, people are like, what about certain people doing Dancing with the Stars Junior? I'm like, ABC and NBC will probably have to talk if they want yeah, some of those dancers sure. and things like that. But I, I hope that they do because I think people need, I, I wish the networks would realize a little bit more that, you know, dancing, you can dance later into your career now than you ever used to. But mm -hmm. that, that television moment oftentimes is like a certain moment in time. So I, I hope that they you know, realize, yeah. like, give them the opportunity, let it happen. And also, you already come with a fan base. Mm -hmm. That's what people also need to realize. Like, you're drawing a fan base that people are like, oh, I love drawing, so you think I'll go follow her to World of Dance. So mm -hmm. I think that's that's another important thing. You said you might have choreography goals? Yeah, I mean, I haven't been able to really have time to do any of that recently, mm -hmm. but... Um, I'd love to get into teaching and, you know, hopefully choreographing. I mean, I don't know how good I am at it, but you have to start somewhere. You so. have to develop. Is there any, um, are there certain choreographers that you just absolutely love, maybe want to, you would love to be mentored by? I mean, I'm sure you've worked with a bunch with uh, Jump and everything. Yeah, I mean, Travis is definitely one for sure, just from where he, like, stems all of his ideas. And his creation process is really cool to me because it's not a specific order. He just... I mean, I don't even know how his brain works. It's he, he comes into the, he doesn't have, like, he, from what I understand, and correct me if I'm wrong, like, he comes into the studio and, like, sets it on you. It's not mm -hmm. like he has this notebook of mm -hmm. of things and positions and, and dance moves or anything else like that. Yeah, he's very, he's very personal to who he's creating on, and um, he will take, uh, he doesn't come in with really set choreography usually. Mm -hmm. He'll 
he makes it very personal, which is, I think, why I enjoyed it so much on the show, because, you know, it's it pushed me for sure. But, and you're part of the process, um, too. Yeah, and you're involved, and I think that's really neat, and just the way, how efficient he is, and same with Mandy Moore. I mean, she, the way that she's able to highlight and, you know, work with certain dancers is is really cool because she, you know, she is... She's just a genius, how she visualizes things and makes them become a reality, and I, it's really neat. Yeah, and she choreographs really, really well for camera, too. I think yeah. some of her camera angles, I'll watch whether it's Dancing with the Stars or So You Think, or you, you go and look at something like La La Land, and you go, that's a, mm -hmm. that's Mandy Moore mm -hmm. right there. And because uh, I just know that there are certain moments that she creates, and I'm like, no one else knows mm -hmm. how to do it the way Mandy does. Mm -hmm. And uh, But it's really genius in, in ways that we don't always think of mm -hmm. naturally and things like that. Yeah, and I also, uh, someone else that we got to work on the show, which, who I'd never worked with before, was Warren Carlyle. <sighs> he, um, that was probably the most inspiring uh, thing I ever got to do on the show because... I mean, just his work ethic and the way that he's able to inspire you to, you know, push yourself and mm -hmm. keep going and do everything as big as you can. His like, choreography is no joke either. It's, it's hard. hard. It's so hard. I had to learn uh, Lex and Gabby's Broadway duet for tour, and that was no <laughs> joke. I Anyone so that had to fast. learn that cane dance is still crying because, oh, yeah. it, and I think that's what he, it looks very simple in many ways mm -hmm. and it's so deceiving and then you sit there and I'm like, does anyone understand like how fast those turns just were? Yeah. Like they just had to do like a triple turn in like half a count. Uh, that could be kind of thing. In heels, yeah, yeah. yeah you're, you're doing Broadway, and you got to act at yeah. the same time and things mm -hmm. like that. And I love that that uh, Warren never dumbs down his choreography. No. He's like, this is what it is, and here we go. Yep, and. The fact that he can still do it, and he'll show you in the rehearsal room. He'll do it full out for you. It's just so inspiring because he's, you know, you wouldn't expect that from him, but he'll give it to you. He's, he's well, an yeah. Amazing and that's dude. when you're like, okay, I got to do it. Yeah, I've got to give him 110. <laughs> percent I I love him. I've been trying to get him. Obviously, he's in New York all the time, but I'm yeah. like, I need to get him in this seat at some point because <laughs> I adore him. Sometimes I'll like DM him, being like, oh my god, I just saw that. That was amazing. Or yeah. I think I sent up a huge DM after that. Uh, Kiki and Jenna um, cane dance and I was like Warren yeah. oh my god what did you do to them and that was amazing and mm -hmm. I was in the studio and sweating the whole time mm -hmm. <laughs> makes the impossible happen it really does it's mm -hmm. amazing well believe it or not the hour is up whoa I know right <laughs> I, uh, people always panic about the show like an hour is so yeah. long and I'm like I promise it won't be that long it, it, hopefully it'll feel like maybe 30 minutes or 20 minutes or something else like that. But um, I know a lot of people want to stay in touch with you. So where can they find you on social media? Uh, they can find me at Steve Taylor. Which is not Steve. It is Steve. Not Steve, Steve not Saeve, <laughs> not Siv. It's, it's Steve <laughs> with an S. We were talking about that, like all of the crazy misspellings of your, your yep. name and my name. And she's like, I'm not Steve. I'm like, you are not Steve. <laughs> well, all good. All good. And you know what? I'm going to throw it out there because I know you can't. But Jeff Thacker, she'd make a great all-star for season 15. <laughs> I'm just saying. Thank you. <laughs> all right, you guys. Um, be sure to check out dancenetwork.tv for all the latest dance news. I've got a great interview with Nigel, which talks gives you some spoilers about what's happening with season 15. And we will be back next week with our first tap guest ever. I'm so excited. Chloe Arnold. Woohoo! <laughs> all right, you guys. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Taylor, thank so you. much. Thank you. We'll see you all me. next week. <laughs> From producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire Popcorn Talk Network, we would like to thank you for tuning in. For questions or comments, be sure to visit PopcornTalk.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of the Popcorn Talk Network. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of the Popcorn Talk Network or its owners or principals.